Okay, I'm post meeting Nobu, Los Angeles. We have Jidori chicken with teriyaki sauce and black cod with miso. Bro, I was butt ass naked and then I get a notification talking about your postmates is outside, huh? <laughs> you know, I've always wanted to try Nobu, okay? I've always heard of it. Everyone keeps talking about it. Every single time someone goes to Nobu, they put it on their IG story. And I guess it's for a reason. Apparently the food is supposed to be hella good. This is the black miso salmon. Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 This is the black miso cod. I know what it looks like. It does not look appetizing at all. But you gotta keep in mind that we postmated it, okay? I'm pretty sure if you were to go to the restaurant, it would look a lot more, like, presentable. The most important thing is not the looks, but what's on the inside, okay? How does it taste? Hey, y'all, y'all seen this? Oh my god, it's so flaky. Apparently, this is, like, their most famous dish. Come on. This is easily the best fish that I've ever had in my life. Okay, first and foremost, it's like super flaky, okay? There's a sweetness to it. I think that's from maybe like a maiden or like sugar of some sort. It's super soft, falls apart in your mouth. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we also have Jidori chicken with asparagus. I think this is enoki mushroom and teriyaki sauce. I just picked this one on a whim because I was craving chicken, but Jidori chicken apparently is like the wagyu of chicken. So apparently how it works is there's this farm in California that raises chickens called Jidori chicken. Okay, I believe they're from Japan or something like that. I don't know, okay? The chickens throughout his life is fed um, organic grass, I think. Organic vegetarian stuff. I don't I don't know, bro. <laughs> My motherfucker be eating tofu and shit. <laughs> they're free range, meaning there's like a big area of land that they can run around compared to a lot of chicken being raised like um, like 30 in a pen you know super cooped up they can't really move and stuff like that it's messed up and also there's no like growth hormone or steroids in the chicken so I assume the chicken is like a lot smaller than the traditional chicken that we're used to so basically what I'm getting is Jidori chicken throughout his life had a really happy really wonderful life and were really well taken care of and you know what that means they're gonna taste delicious take a piece of the chicken dip in the teriyaki sauce bon appetit Bro, I'm not gonna lie, it tastes the same. Is that bad? I keep it real. This tastes just like some regular chicken, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Sheesh. Ooh. Bro, look at the Nobu napkins, bro. This shit really is different. It's like a really thick material. Oh my god. Very fast coffee review. Today we went to a spot called Sight Glass Coffee, which is like the craziest looking coffee shop that I've ever seen in my life. When you walk inside, they sell like ceramic, forks, knives, succulents. They have like organic fruits and vegetables and shit. When I walked in, I was like, holy shit, is this a Whole Foods? Bro, I thought this was a plastic straw, but turns out this motherfucker is made of paper. <laughs> I hate it here, bro. For the coffee, I got myself a, I think it's a vanilla paste coffee. Usually, whenever I go to coffee shops, I just ask the um, the cashier what their favorite coffee is. If they go to work every day and they have to drink coffee every day, their favorite coffee is the one that's probably going to be the best because they have to drink it every day, right? But yeah, vanilla paste latte with almond milk. I mean, it's sweet. The vanilla flavor is there. It's not that cold because they put like five ice cubes in this bitch. Honestly, no, yo, this shit is so good, bro. Bro, this shit is so good, bro. This, I would give a nine out of 10. Moving on, we have the pastry. Now, to be honest, I forgot what I got. I think it's like a French toast. The girl described it as like a croissant. On top, there's like almonds and honey and whatnot. I've never had this in my life, so I said, let me get that. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, essentially, I think this is like a almond croissant that looks like a piece of bread. I'd give this a 9 out of 10, bro. I've never had bad coffee in LA. Never in my life. Y'all see this, right? Sheesh! This is it. Bustin' Bustin'. I is not merely seeing reality. It is touching the truth. Not gonna lie, this kind of tastes like ass, but the can was cool, so I bought it. Yeah. So far, shopping in LA has been kind of like a hit or a miss. I've been to Melrose and people are always like, oh, it's super cool. It's really not that special. It's just like a strip where like there's different boutiques and different thrift stores, but I was able to go to Dover Street Market, which is like a shop that I've been wanting to go. And I got myself a brain dead tea, green on cream. The back was sick. I love the coloring on the back. This one right here is more of like a mature purchase. Whatever the hell that means. You have a box of perfume. 
Fam, I'm a person that's really big on smell, okay? You could be, bro, you could be the hottest chick in the world, but if you smell bad, bro, like, I can't do it. I don't care who you are, bro, you have to smell good. Replica Jazz Club by Mason Margiela. I really only have, like, one cologne right now, but I wanted something else that had a different smell to it, and this one's, like, another really popular one that people like, and this one is supposed to smell like a jazz club. This is what it looks like. Two. This. Neck. And it literally does smell like a jazz club, bro. It smells so, like, elegant. Bro, I smell like I'm high class. Okay. Yeah. Bro, I've been in LA for a week and I've witnessed three car crashes with my own eyeballs. And right now, there is a high-speed police chase. Sheesh. The airbags are deployed. Oh, he just copied what I said, bro. Come on. Be original, bro. Yo, they got a laser on his ass, bro. Y'all see that green dot? Uh-oh. Try the cafe called Sharp Specialty Coffee in Koreatown and get their honey cinnamon latte. It's bomb AF. Okay. Very fast coffee review. Now I know, okay, the lighting isn't the best because I'm in a parking structure right now. But I had to run to my car because I'm parked here. Well, look at what the sign says. This bit says, no parking toe. Huh? Excuse me. We're here at Sharp Specialty Coffee. It's a Korean-owned coffee spot. But this is the Honey Cinnamon Coffee. I think this is the cold brew. By the way, the interior of this spot was so freaking nice. Really my vibe. Like a lot of black, wood, um, a lot of green plants and stuff like that. Oh my god, no, this is actually good. A good balance between coffee, milk, okay, not too strong on coffee, not too strong on milk. Very well balanced. You do get a little bit of cinnamon. It tastes a little bit like uh, like gingerbread cookies. Yeah, I mean, this is fucking incredible. What are you talking about? This is a 9 out of 10, easily. Now, for the pastry, I got myself the blueberry muffin. I don't know, I don't think they have, like, a bakery because, like, they don't have any fresh pastries. It's wrapped up hella cute and shit. And yeah, this is, like, a basic pastry that you can get, like, at any grocery store, I think. Mmm. It's just a regular blueberry muffin, like a 5, 6 out of 10, you know? But either way, I would come back just for this honey cinnamon coffee, bro. This shit's so good. But yeah, I'm chilling. I'm gonna eat this. We're about to head off to a Japanese grocery store, which is, like, so exciting for me because number one, Japanese and Korean grocery stores are just, like, next level. And the produce in LA in general is so good. Everything's so fresh. So I'm gonna show you guys what I caught. Today, there really wasn't that much stuff at the market. I went to um, a Japanese market and I also went to H Mart, but we picked up a few goodies. Melona, always good, refreshing. Boba ice cream, high chew, some hella good looking strawberries. Oh my goodness. Look at how red that is, bro. Literally just picked this morning. We have miso paste because I wanted to make the black miso cod, but I couldn't find black cod anywhere. So got these cheese puffs at the Japanese store. Some Japanese Cheetos, um, a little wood rack that I just got because, bro, it was $10, bro. I wasn't gonna pass up on a good deal. And lastly, but not the leastly, we have cup noodle. Yeah? Leaving because I'm getting my couch in 30 minutes. Bro, I thought they was gonna help me put it together. Yeah, what the fuck? I gotta do this myself. Huh? One piece done, and one more to go. You guys wanna see all the, the boxes that stick down? Nah, bro, y'all gotta see this, bro. This shit is sickening. Oh my goodness. Hold on, hold on, we got the... <sighs> bro, I swear I'm just different, bro. I got a sofa and shit. We need to get more like decorative pillows because these are just not cutting it, but bro, I think I'm gonna take a nap. This stuff is, bro, look at how soft this is. Okay, I was just editing the vlog and I really want to prove it to you guys. I don't know why. The couch really isn't that small. Like, on the video, it looks very small, but I'm going to show you guys the link, all right? This is me, and I could lay down, no problem. The only reason why it looks like it doesn't fit that many people is because, like, instead of three separate pieces, it's divided into two, like, half and half, so. And also, this is what I ended up doing with the $10 shelf. It's just a little rack for, like, shoes to go in and out and whatnot. I see on TikTok, like, people wearing shoes and stuff in the house. Nah, it's not going to cut it, bro. 
we're not doing that over here i think tomorrow what we're gonna do for the vlog is i'm gonna take you guys to the farmer's market or we're gonna try to hunt around la to find black codfish it's actually so hard to find bro i went to three different stores today they only sell it like super thinly sliced and you guys saw that nobu piece right it's hella thick right i need that in my life bro we need that so and if we're able to find that we're gonna make a cooking video on how to make the black miso cod at home yeah keep what i got as a housewarming gift bro we got a pan what does that say parsley 